There's the SI joint. Yeah. How far does it go? <laughs> <laughs> So what brings you in then? What you um, feeling? So I have pain on my right shoulder and right neck. Okay. Um, it you know travels from here all the way down, maybe to the back side too. Okay. And I believe it's from just sitting and studying a lot and kind of like being hunched over. How long have you been a student or? Okay, so I'm in medical school right now. Ooh. <laughs> so becoming a, a doctor. An MD. Yeah, MD. How far are you into it? I'm only on my first year. It's, um, I can't compare it to anything, honestly. Just the studying overload. It's... Like, let's open up your mouth and shove as much information yeah. as you can. Yeah. Like learning all the bones in, I think, two weeks and all the muscles and veins. I want you to point. Okay. And I see like a little bit of a, is this like a little bit of a rash, but that's yeah, just... Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's my eczema, and sometimes it flares okay. up, so it's nothing. I use oil, is that... Yeah, that's hurt? fine. No, okay. It's not. Um, okay, so go ahead. I'm sorry. One more time. Point. Okay. So here. Oh, right in the... Okay, so um, hand on your shoulder. Now yep. press back against my arm. My hand, yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that make it hurt? Yes. Okay. Then you're going to lift up with this part of your arm. Just lift up it and yeah, does that make it hurt? Yes. Okay. So you've got like part of it is the trapezius and part of it is the rhomboid. Yeah. And you have a couple of ribs. A little bit of a twist in your spine. Okay. And so when the spine twists, the ribs kind of go with it and it sprains those little capsules there. Okay. You know, that connect you know this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, you probably just studied this. <laughs> you know, where does the rib articulate with the vertebrae? With the, it's oh. on the TP and not, you're like, don't make no, me do not. that. <laughs> I just had a test, like, about it. <laughs> Let's just, we'll back off and use layman's term. Where the rib <laughs> attaches to the vertebrae, okay, yeah. it separates a little bit and mm -hmm. it gets inflamed. And there's a little pocket of fluid in there and yeah. I can feel it right here. So when we put motion into that joint, yeah. It relieves some of that fluid, that edema that's in there. Okay, increasing range of motion, right, can actually decrease edema. It can increase edema <laughs> if it's done forcefully, yeah. too hard, right? But getting motion in there, especially here, on yeah. you, will help decrease and calm down that inflammation. Okay. I'm actually, one way that we can see it, come on behind her, so if you cross your arms like this and you just tuck your chin and then look and round forward right here right here she's got this curve so there's some rotation you know in the spine too yeah okay so when the spine goes lateral and then rotates yeah also pulls those ribs it will it just it's like a piece of fabric you know pulling and it just builds up inflammation yeah okay any no falls or breaks though yeah no falls no breaks no accidents a reflex can tell you a lot about the health of a person. I think I've only gotten it done like once. Nope, normal. See, did you see the arm here? Nope. Relax. Okay. Yeah. I just whack that one. Like here. <laughs> I, they say to go here. Yeah. The cheat is here. Okay. Watch, here, watch your tricep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Perfect. So she's your normal brisk. Um, both sides are the same, side to side. So I'm not too worried. It's just I think it's just a sprained rib head. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're. Yeah. I think you you slept or you. You want to know my honest opinion? Yeah. So you're doing something curling into the side and it's it's pulling at these fibers and they're never getting a break. Okay. So you're like you're probably trying to stretch it out. Yeah. And you're making it worse. You got to go back. And okay. put it into place. You're, you're a little bit slumped forward on that side mm -hmm. when I look at you here. That's what I'm going to go like this. Yep, you're going to pull in. Okay. Go ahead and push out. Excellent. Like push up. Good. And down. Good. Oh, you're going to suggest my <laughs> And up. And down. Good. All right. She's fine. So raise your shoulder up. Okay. And push down. And then raise up. Yeah, no, she's perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> Let's take your posture real quickly, okay? Okay. Good. 
There's a little bit of a left pelvic shift. Go one more time. Let me see. Swing the arms. Good. And come on back. It's just student posture. Yeah. You gotta really work on opening up the chest. It's not just you. You hear me say it on every single video that I ever do. Yeah. Because our eyes are on the front of the head. Yeah. Arms work very well here, not too well <laughs> back here. Yeah. We don't, you don't see grandma and grandma like this. <laughs> you only see them degenerate this way. Yeah. So we gotta fight that every day. Okay. And have you read about eczema and diet? Yes, I have. Okay, so I see a little bit like here. Yeah. Um, I feel bad for you. I d had a renovation at my house and the drywall mm. just went everywhere and well, now, that'll do it. <laughs> and I found out I'm allergic to drywall, so it was... Oh, anything that gets in your skin or you breathe it in. Yeah. Breathe. Mm. There you go. All right, other side. That's good. She's she's not hard to to let go of the tension there. It's coming out. This is where I expect a little bit more discomfort. Okay. I'm gonna go through these. Okay. That's it. Lower part actually let go. Just the middle part of your neck right here. Okay, okay. Whew, I adjust it, okay? Okay. Chin back. Perfect. Breathe. Mm. The other side. You okay? Yes. Okay. Yep, yeah, it's a little tricky here on this left side. Excellent. Right here. Here it goes. Breathe. Much better. Okay, now I'm just going to let that lymph drain. Okay. I'm going to go to the toes. Feels good to get stuff moving. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull? Anything hurt when I do that? No. Okay, very gently. She's pretty loose. This is stuck. You feel that? The talus? Yeah. There it goes. anything to move there. Very good. It just, nope. <laughs> <laughs> it just folds. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing to get. Can't pop it that way. All right. Um, we're going to go face down. Okay. How's your neck feeling so far? Uh, like any change here, uh, even if it's, if even though it's small. Yeah. A little bit. I feel like lighter. Feels lighter. Feel in your spine. Take a deep breath in. Ooh, there it goes. Perfect. Breathe. I'm gonna do the next set. Okay.
that's it. Find your back for me. Here we go. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. I'm gonna roll this down. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, are you okay? Oh, you're taking it much yeah. better than I thought. I have a really high pain tolerance. I color. see that. <laughs> well, actually, it did a lot better that time around. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And relax down. Let me get this side. Here's another part where this pinches. Remember we were talking about yeah. that before? So brachial plexus, lateral aspect of the scapula here. Loves to live in there. Yeah, I can feel it. As long as it's not going numb down your arm. No. Okay. Nothing zinging you? No, nothing zinging. Okay, then we're good. So if it does go numb down the arm, what does that mean? It's a hot nerve. Okay. And you come off of it, and I bear, I would back off to like here. Yeah. And work through it. Do you understand? That means the nerve is probably compromised at the neck uh -huh. or the spine at some level. Yeah. So if I pinch on it, I'll kill the nerve. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> it dies. <laughs> you know, so I always check with people. Yeah. Like, what do you mean if it does? Then back off. Get off of it. <laughs> it's too weak. It's too compromised but if you're healthy it can handle it yeah there you go excellent Here's the sacrum, okay, SI joint right here. Oh, a lot of nerves come out of this yeah. right here. Look at that, her whole leg. Oh, I'm twitching. Okay, gotta be careful. There it goes, okay. Ooh. No, you don't have any. That's good. <laughs> no, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hurt? You okay? Yeah, it's fine. Doing okay. The neck yeah. is usually sensitive because it's thinner, it's thinner strips of muscle here. As you well know, <laughs> it's not too terrible. Oh, okay. I mean, it's pretty red. <laughs> it looks bad to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this little pink that yeah. here that would be gone in like a half an hour. Oh, okay. The dark purple it will take about four to seven days to go away. Yeah. It doesn't do anything with the skin. Okay. Your skin will be perfectly fine. Okay. It's just underneath. Yeah. Coming up to the surface. Yeah. Um, just right here. Anything into your hand or your arm? No. You're okay. 
Because here we go. <laughs> so I, can, I can feel it. Peck minor. Peck major is here going this way. I'm, I might just get oil on you. I'm sorry. It's okay. Arm behind your back for me. Sorry, I almost got it. Excellent, excellent. Relax. Shoulder looks okay. <laughs> there it goes. I don't want to over. <laughs> on you, okay. I was just—it takes coordination to get that lat, yeah. you know, to pull down. But you got it. Just tractioning, to feel good. Yeah. Just get some blood flowing. Blood flow. Yep, that's all we do. The joint is the deepest level, and you work it up to the surface. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And then elbow back. Good. <laughs> good. Lean away. There's the SI joint. Yeah. How far does it go? <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. Head back. Head back. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> On your back. And press up. Five. One. Three. Two. One. And then 80 doctors squeeze. Perfect. Good. Don't need to go more than that. Just think about going backwards. Okay. Like do some yoga where yeah. you're going back. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. All of those. Okay. You know, bowl pulling pull, really pull. Well, actually, you know, really way. pull on that right side. Yeah. Pull them in. They're just. Um, like how often would you say? You need to do it every day. Yeah. Like how many times a day is what I was trying to oh, say. Oh, once. Okay. Yeah. It'll, it doesn't matter how much, how many times I pop it. Yeah. There's pop back out. Mm -hmm. So you have to continuously put steady pressure yeah. there and working on opening mm -hmm. the throat, opening this up. When you study, do they have free moving chairs <laughs> at the school? Yeah. You know, you've got to be more open. Okay. And not wanting to curl into a little ball. Yeah. 